there was a, a, a strange interaction I had with a New York Times reporter a few years ago where she says, uh, well, who cares whether or not the colleges and universities reduce their carbon footprint? You don't have a big carbon footprint to begin with. You only got two or three percent of the carbon footprint in the country. We said, well, yeah, that's true. It's true. But we have 100 percent of the student footprint. And so right now, the president's climate commitment engages 25 to 30 percent of all the uh, uh, students in the country through the colleges and the universities that are members. And so we're looking at putting this core value of sustainability and uh, uh, climate neutrality, carbon neutrality, in as an objective for as many millions of students as we possibly can, engaging those students in the process, getting them to understand it. In, in many ways, the students are expecting it because as the new generation of students are coming in, they're less tolerant of the Stone Age practices of their, of their uh, academic ancestors. And so we're trying to catch up to uh, uh, act and behave and teach and create new knowledge in ways that are more representative of what they think the world should be than the way the world has ended up uh, at the moment. The critical role of higher education in all of this is that uh, we are knowledge enterprises that produce three principal products. We produce the next generation of individuals who are in theory state of the art in terms of the knowledge that they have and the capabilities that they have. We produce ideas and theories and we produce stuff. All three of those things are essential to us reshaping the, the completely non-sustainable trajectory that we're on. We're on a non-sustainable trajectory. To move off that trajectory we need new ideas, new things and stuff, and new people. That's what we do, and that's the direction that we're headed.